This video is separated into three parts. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today, I'm going to make a video about engine mounting. I think it's about time for me to change my engine mounting because whenever I start my engine, I can see the side mirror tends to vibrate by far a lot. And the same with the vibration at this steering wheel, okay? Let me give you an example. If you hold it, you can feel that there's some vibration, right? There are some vibration here. So I suspect it has to do with the uh, engine mounting. And the engine mounting has hardened. And therefore, the engine vibration is not being damped. And therefore, it passes on to the car chases. That's why you hear so much of noises. So I'm going to show you how do I change my engine mounting. And then we'll compare. Once I've changed my engine mounting, is there any improvement? Let's get started. Four, one, two, three, four, four of them. Now, you will realize that I'm using the Mishibishi brand instead of a Proton. Actually, the, these are the uh, OEM brand. The reason why I choose OEM brand over the uh, Proton brand is because one is cost. Second thing is that I wish to find out how long will this brand last? Say for example, if I were to choose Proton, the price of Proton is double of this brand of Mitsubishi. Maybe Mitsubishi they have a factory here in Malaysia. I do not know where, if you know, let me know in the comment down there. So that's why I choose Mitsubishi. And uh, so in the future, I will know how many kilometers it will last. If it lasts for 100,000 kilometers, then I'm satisfied, I'm good enough already. And these are the tools that I think I will need. This is optional. In case it's too difficult for me to remove the nut, then I will need to use an impact drill. Otherwise, I think the uh, ratchet socket and uh, this is extension bar is good enough for me to get this job done. Okay. I'm going to separate this video into three parts. The first part would be to change the engine mounting at the cross member bar, but first support it using a car jack. Now, um, the easiest way to check if your engine mounting is working is to check the one at the front of the cross member. You see here, it's actually broken. It's cracked. So this is one of the ways to check if you need to change your engine mounting. You check the one at the cross member by Since the front. Since I'm going to change the front engine mounting at the same time near the gearbox, it's broken. I'm going to change the rubber bush here as well. Remove this nut, then you go to the back and release, loosen the nut at the back. Then uh, hold it with a 17mm. Wow, you loosen the 14mm at the end. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to use a socket, 14mm socket. Place it here and hand twist it and loosen it using my hand. I would make this bowl remain here. With the bowl is in place, I'm going to release the two mounting bowl so that the cross member bar can come off easily later. But for safety reason, I maintain the bowl here so that I can easily, I can, I can actually, I use the impact wrench to loosen the nut and then fix it with 70mm socket. I can loosen it up. Followed by the one at the front here. I'll first use the impact wrench to loosen up the nut first. I'll use a 17mm ratchet socket. Do not remove the horizontal nut at the mounting engine until you remove all four. I mean, so that when you do it on your own, be sure you have all the tools. Otherwise, you just buy the parts and hire a mechanic and do it for you. So long. The rubber bush is actually broken. So I think it's advisable to change the rubber bush as well while you change the engine mounting. Then only I went over to remove the nut at the back first, followed by the one at the front. This thing that came off as expected. You say it's broken, followed by hold it one hand, pull it out from the other end. Then the thing came out, might as well change it. So it's at the front, remove them, put it down. This is how it looks like. Uh, the same goes with the other side. Yo, it's actually broken, it's hardened. So if you plan to change the engine mounting, remember to change the rubber bush. So I bought this provision, OEM version. They say premium quality rubber bush. Both of them looks the same. Okay. Just push it in. Place it back in position. Wow. Okay. I'll change two at the front, two at the back. It's broken first, and then there's a marking here. A square. A square means the one at the front, face the front, right? 
The one at the back is different. Show it to you, bring it over. Whereas the one at the back is also what well, is a crack. I think you should change it. You should check if it's broken by 100,000 kilometer mileage. Check your engine mounting every 100,000. You see it's broken. Right? This at the back is circle, isn't it? The one at the back is circle, so you don't so you don't uh, insert wrongly. Circle, face the back, and the mounting nut at the back here, it's actually shorter compared to the one at the front. I would change, change this as well. The new one is soft. It's really hardened. Okay, push it out. Push it in, make sure it's flat, and then install it back in position. Make sure it's at the center. These are wear and tear. All right, so I'm going to proceed with the changing of the engine mounting, just to make sure it sits right center, or else later I have difficulties installing this cross member back in position. Okay, I've changed the engine bush, then I'm going to change the engine mounting at the front. So now I fastened the two bowl here using a breaker bar. So to make sure it's flat, okay, there's no gap. Make sure there's no gap in between those sides. The circle represents the back, okay, so this is the back, the rear. I will avoid using the impact drill because it will actually spoil the, the bowl, okay. So with me here, I have a breaker bar to loosen the bowl, can be loosened up easily. I use a ratchet. It's good to use a breaker bar to break loose the nut. Circle one, face the back. Oh, this is the broken engine mounting at the rear. If the OEM version can last me 100,000 km, then I'm very happy already. Uh, before I install it, I'm going to clean the uh, surface here. And I turn one side, followed by the another side. Use a breaker bar. The one at the front is longer compared to one at the back. You can compare them, it's actually a different length. So you don't mix the bowl, okay? The one at the front paired with at the back, it's a shorter one, okay? You're going to first install the bowl at the back, move to the front, secure the long Secure the two long bow at the front without having the bow because it's not aligned. You need to use a jack to jack it up, push it up, then only you install the bow here. Then I'll proceed to the back, install another two more shorter version of bow. The hand tighten with the bow set. I'm going to use a jack so that the hole is aligned. Just a little bit, the bow can pass through the hole. I can proceed with tighten the nut. So I'm going to hold it with another, this one is 17mm this side, 14mm the other side. I've tightened the nut here, 17mm. Now, use the 17mm ratchet. Not over tighten, just tighten it. Whew. Then followed by the one at the back. I'm going to tighten this. Hand tighten both the bowls. Now left with the bowl here. Fourteen mm at the other end, and then uh, seventeen mm nut. Okay. These are the two that I will need. Size fourteen, size seventeen. There are three parts of the video. This is the video to change the two engine mounting at cross member. First time while watching my video, can subscribe to my channel, press the bell button so they can notify a new video, and uh, appreciate a thumbs up. Thank you and goodbye.